Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon so today we're going to talk about the bots again the chat bots today we're going to talk about getting the right conversation again getting a setup and I'm going to just show you right here so right over here this is the bot that I set up and it's so look at that it's too it's insane it's way too much and I want to make an easy bot a simple bot not something like that this is this is totally rid ridiculous uh there's way too much stuff going on and I'm going to show you today we're going to talk about how to get a bot how to get the right conversation how to how to you know how to uh, what's the best conversation to put on your site how do you figure that out what is it that you really should be doing in your bot and how to organize it so that your bot is you know effective and gives you what your your customers looking for and, and then in return gives you what you're looking for right so what are you looking for leads sales right so let's do that we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so you want to have a bot on your website on your blog you can do that you can do that there's different tools out there the one I use is called Conversio bot um, you can actually go here if you would like to you can go and get your get information on my Conversio bot um it's it's Conversio bot that's a page that's going to show you exactly what it's all about it's really really awesome it's a it's got a lifetime deal right now I don't know how long that's going to last but go check it out go to the link right there right now it's going to be down in the bill in the description as well or if you're listening to this as an audiobook it's my conversiobot.com so uh, conversio without an n bot bot.com and just go over there info.myconversiobot.com all right so just go check that out and uh, find out what the tool I'm using and uh, we saw earlier if uh, if this is this is one thing you can do with it this is my basic bot that I've got on my blog right if I go to my blog whoops not this page but if I go to my blog right here and I just reload the page you're going to see down the bottom here the Convergio bot is right there and it's saying how can I help I've got my hand waving there saying hey look at that look at that there's there's something there obviously my blog has way too much stuff going on so it's almost impossible to see it but you know maybe and on a, on a mobile phone it looks a little different obviously it uh you can see it at the bottom of the mobile phone page and so it's pretty pretty cool and when I click it it opens up the chat and it starts having a conversation with me and that's what you want you want to have your bot to have a conversation with you one of the things that I changed yesterday was I start off by asking them do you want to chat right and the, the the important thing is that you want to make sure that they get to accept your privacy policy if there's ever any issue and you always ask that at the beginning of your chat you know for sure 100 percent that anybody who's engaging with your chat has agreed to the policy I mean I don't know I'm not a lawyer maybe there's rules around that or something but the the point is that at least it's there and you can't say they didn't agree to it even though uh, you might they might say well I didn't read it or whatever but you know what that's the law right if you if you say you accepted something you didn't read it it's your fault it's not anybody else's fault so anyways that's one thing and so when I click on this sure thing it keeps going right and it says my name is Jean Serge what's your name my name is Frank right and then it just says hey how's it going happy to meet you Frank right so then it says if you're here you're probably building a business online like me right Frank and then trying to get home and do more with your loved ones and then the it asks for sure or no so depending on what the person says if they say for sure then you keep going on in that conversation that says what kind of business you have so I want to improve that because because my bot right now is asking way too many questions it's too complicated to manage yesterday I tried to update it and it was a big big mess so the episode I did yesterday I had this particular um <clears throat> I had this particular 
idea of what's the best way to get a chat conversation going right so then I, I thought to myself okay we're going to first ask what is the goal of your chat bots conversation what's the goal of it right you got to ask yourself that then you got to ask yourself who is your audience right who's your audience or avatar next you got to ask yourself what is it you're offering and then uh, you want to ask you know kind of functionality things like how long do you, the bot goes on and things like that right uh, so for me when I started this yesterday I said this I said okay I want to get them on my list right I want to make them feel like I care about them I want to come back I want them to come back to the blog later so that's a, an ultimate goal I guess right so and then this this is uh, just text I, I kind of added on how to do it afterwards so now to answer the other question who is your audience or avatar so for me it's online marketers that know about affiliate and network marketing and have been building their biz online for at least one year so I'm not looking for somebody who's brand new necessarily and is is uh, is is just starting out online sure I can help them because I got lots of um, uh, things for that but the basis of my conversation should be around this and then I also want them to have a blog or at least have had one so they understand the value of building an email and oh sorry and they understand the value of building an email list actually let's just put that as a separate so I want them to have a blog or I had had one <clears throat> so they know how websites kind of work and um and so what is my offer so in in this case I had written down these four offers which you know that's okay that's the offers I have which ones do I and the thing that I want to come up to today is I want to talk about you want to have one offer you know I I hear Russell you see Russell Brunson right here in, in behind me there I'm I'm a big fan of Russell Brunson he talks about the one thing he talks about your one thing you got to have one thing and this was kind of echoing in my mind yesterday when I was doing this you got to have one thing you know one thing that your bot is going to do you if you have a bunch of different things asking a bunch of questions first it becomes really hard for you to manage when you're trying to edit the bot or making changes to it and the secondly it's like your visitor yeah sure if you really make it perfect and everything else you know your visitor will get the right message in the bots or whatever and one thing you could maybe do if you wanted to really have and this is kind of what I'm going to do which I'm going to show you something but you could have a different bot on different pages right so you could have a bot like for me I've got uh, social media tips TikTok tips uh, LinkedIn tips those kind of things and you know if somebody lands on a page that's about TikTok I should probably have a bot that talks about my free like this free TikTok webinar right on how to use the platform I should have it pop up hey I see you're in interested in TikTok that's so awesome or, or whatever right I'm just saying so what conversation I have is 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 not about this this topic here is not about the actual conversations about how to come up with the say the framework or the layout or what is it you're trying to do with your bot okay so now um it's so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to take my free 12 critical steps to your online success that is going to be my offer that I'm going to give them my one thing that's going to be my offer for my bot for my new bot so yesterday there was an issue with creating the bot that we are getting an error when I was trying to add a new bot so first of all when you go to the platform there's a dashboard here you will see um what options you've paid for and that kind of stuff and then you can have my bots which is I think the same page or no it's I guess it just shows the bots it'll show you the different bots that you have right so and the other thing is now you got folders that was new they didn't have that the other day now we have folders and you can create folders so you can organize bots for your customers say for example you're actually building a bot for another customer and that's really cool let me show you something here uh let's just take uh let's just take one of these bots let's say I want to show a customer I'm I'm building a uh, um, uh, site let's go to sony.com right so I'm building a bot for sony right um <clears throat> and you know I'm building a bot for sony oh uh, whatever let's not worry about that so this is uh and I want to I want to build a bot for them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the bots I'm going to take it doesn't really matter which bot I take let's just see uh settings I'm trying I'm not sure. I hope I remember where this is but it's over down here someplace 
language planning oh I forgot where that was I gotta remember where was that there's a place where you can say I want to see maybe under publish oh yes under publish so over here I can say I want to put https sony.com so I want to this is that right sony.com yeah so I want to show sony I want to say hey this is what the bot looks like right now this is what people will see on the website when they go to your site now if you get this bot on your site I do this it takes me to a page well I guess sony's not a not a good example they don't like it they refuse to connect oh oh <laughs> okay well let's try something else what about uh, what about uh, snapexec.com okay my site that's one of my sites so that will that will work sorry about that so if I just change that and it's going to show me on my site here it's going to show me this 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 bot that's right there it's going to show up on the page and you're going to be able to show the customer what it looks like on their page on their website they're going to see their website with your bot right on there and they're going to be able to see what that bot looks like and you're going to be able to show them you know and maybe get a sale right you're, if you're trying to guild, build a bot for other customers that's one way to do it right all right so anyways that's just an exact side note here that's one of the things you can do with this which I think is really cool okay let's go back now let's create a bot and I'm going to create a bot for my page I'm going to create a folder here I'm going to call it uh, bot tests and then in that folder that's got a folder now and I'm going to create a bot test folder there's no bots there create a bot in here inside of bot test and we're going to call it blog welcome okay so now the first thing I want to do in the blog is I want to welcome them so I'm going to add a block here can you see yeah okay I'm going to add a block and then it adds a block here let's just uh, make this a little bit bigger where's that oh no wrong place right so now you have a block and maybe I can just make this page I'm going to resize this so that we kind of just see that there we go so that's a little bit better right <laughs> okay so now we have a, a block let me make it uh, okay all right so now when we create the block we click on it we want to edit the block I'm still going to make this a little bit there we go let's do that okay so in here you want to first name it I'm just going to call the welcome it's the first uh, one I'm going to say welcome to my blog welcome to my blog all right I'm going to say add I'm going to say do you have time for a quick chat okay so that's the first thing I, I like to do I think that makes a lot of sense you ask them if they have time I mean they clicked on the thing to open it up because it said do you need help chances are they have time so they're probably going to do that and I'm not even going to bother asking them a yes or no you could have a yes or no but I'm going to go in here I'm going to put buttons I'm going to say sure and that's it I'm not going to have a no or whatever because really if they don't click it they can close it away right I'm going to put legal consent here which is basically my privacy link let me go to my blog here and let's go to get my privacy link is down here privacy copy link I'm going to put my privacy link here and this is going to be by clicking you accept our privacy policy continue continue and then save all right so now once <laughs> once the bot is actually created there you can click on the preview button and you'll see what it would look like when you first go here it'll start like this it'll say welcome to my blog and it'll say do you have time for a quick chat I can only click sure or close it right there's no other option and that forces them to accept the privacy policy and they they want to read it they can click the link that's the basics <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a block and the next block is going to be is going to be 
you know they've said yes they have time and then so yes chat time okay that's just the name of that shows up in the builder there let me say awesome uh awesome my name is Jean Serge where you can give your bot a different name if you want what's your name what's your name oops what's your name okay so now in this one what we're going to want to do is when we click on the user response right there you want to ask them for text and you're going to ask them for their full their first name you don't want to ask them for their full name because then you can't really use it and you'll see why in a minute but basically uh, in here I'm just going to capitalize each word and I'm going to add validation which means they actually have to put a name in there they can't put like numbers and weird things and that's it I'm going to continue I'm going to save that and now let's just uh let's just create another block over here there's add block right we're going to add another block and this one we're going to say so as I said in my in in here right I have this is make get them on my list is my my goal right so make them feel like I care about them how do I make them feel like I care about them I ask them questions about what they're about what they're doing why are they here right uh, and for me and this is kind of what I had done here right uh this isn't exactly what I'm doing right now but I can had started that's kind of gives me gives you an idea but you know but I'm gonna say uh that's uh is there anything I, I can, no let's not worry let, okay sorry I'm rambling I'm babbling don't worry about me I babble I tend to babble sometimes if I'm not <laughs> exactly sure what I'm what I'm doing <laughs> but that's that's how it works right uh okay so I want to offer them this free book let's just uh let's just put this one as the main offer let's just uh, take that out of here put that here uh other offers <coughs> all right so um this is the main offer all right and uh, okay that's all that's all good so my audience is affiliates and network marketers who've been building their business online for at least one year right so when they come to my site I I I'm going to assume that they already have been building a business online that's what how I'm going to talk to them so um <clears throat> ask about them so I'm not sure so let's first uh, I'm so happy to meet you okay and here I can add their name I can they just gave me their name I'm going to add their name I'm going to go in here and I'm going to copy the first name here and I'm going to close this so oh, let's just uh, so as you can see whoops let's just uh, move this like this uh, down the bottom oh I guess you can't see the bottom let's just uh, give us a little bit more space here kind of see a little bit more of it down the bottom hmm I need more more wow I just want to make sure you see the whole thing there we go okay so now we see the whole thing let's just minimize that like that I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger because we don't need to see all that right there okay so let's move me I'm sorry I'm just looking at this is my oh this is OBS right here right I I use I move things around like this and uh I'm using this software and okay so make me a little smaller there we go there I can be smaller I can be that that's fine okay so it would, let's just start this over again so when you're inside of here you can click on use placeholder right there you can go in there it gives you the list of all the options that are available the custom text the custom field uh things like that and then you can just copy click the little copy button right next to it and then you close it and then you can paste it right here I'm so happy to meet you first name right and then I can just say you know if if you're if you're like me you've been 
building your business online for a while and I'm going to make this a little longer typing here three four seconds and then over here I'm going to say um would what would you what would what would you say is your number one priority so I'm just going to ask them a question about their their business what is it they're doing so I'm going to just go user response right here I'm going to make this a button I'm just going to make buttons I don't want to have to figure out what they're saying I'm just going to say lead generation lead generation and then you click on plus here it'll add a new button uh, I'm going to say um, sales closing sales and then I'm going to say <coughs> uh what else so so I just want to ask them and these are things that I can help them with that I can answer questions about and I'm going to say something different for each of these different options and let's see so I their problem is lead generation so what are the things that I can really help them with is generate no, more leads is figuring out how to close more sales and uh, let's see <coughs> uh, growing growing things okay let's do that uh lead gener oh, let's uh building let's add a building list all right and then we probably should have another option something else <coughs> okay so now we're going to have lead generation closing sales I probably should write that down because I'll forget uh or maybe I'll just make myself a screenshot let's just do a screenshot <coughs> okay because and you'll see why in a second so I'll just put that over on my, my other screen here so I can see it okay so I can click on continue and I click save okay so now what you see here oops I'm not seeing my <laughs> I'll put that here and then this one all right so now what you see here is you see three different blocks right these are blocks I can then you got to connect the block so that the, the the bot software knows what to do after a certain block so it's not because they're one on top of the other this could be right over here this could be right there it doesn't really matter the bot knows what block to go to at the end of one block based on the line the connections so I can connect this block to this block and I can connect this block to this block now obviously you wouldn't want to do it like this because it's too confusing that's why I put them one on top of the other like this so that it's obvious how they go if I put them like this as you can see the lines follow along so that shows you the the the, the order of what's going to happen right so now you've got a welcome message let's just do a uh, let's do a preview so now you got a welcome message it's going to reload here and you ask them a question yep I got time sure what's all right and then first it's going to say my name is Jean-Serge what's your name I'm going to say Frank and then it's going to say nice to meet you Frank that's awesome and then it's going to say if you're like me you've been building a business online for a while what would you say is your number one priority so so it's going to ask what is your priority what is it that you're trying to do are you trying to do lead generation you're trying to close sales you're trying to grow your fans are you trying to build a list or is it something else so depending on which button it goes to you want to you want to go to something else right so let's let me just put these here in the middle so that there so there's room so as you can see down the bottom here there's five different little red nodes whoops no you can't see let me get that out of the way as you can see down there there's five different little red nodes now each of these nodes are each of the questions each of the answers or if you will so I'm going to add a block here and this first block is the first answer so lead gen lead gen oops and um so okay yeah lead generation 
is the life blood now obviously you can have all this planned ahead of time I'm kind of doing it on the fly here it's basically the kind of stuff that I've been doing for a long time so it's not too hard for me to come up with the words but even even then I'm sure I could do better if I took time to do it better right so lead generation is the lifeblood of any business any business whoops business all right I'm gonna say I I've been building my email list for almost five years now <clears throat> I I have whoops uh, okay I'm actually gonna let's just do that like that that's it that's all I'm just gonna do that like this I can always improve it later but I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna save that lead gen so now the other thing is I want to put this here as one of them right <coughs> and then I'm going to just copy this and this will be the next one I'm going to edit it I'm going to change this to what's the next one it was closing sales closing sales and yeah I can just do the same thing right closing sales is I'm not going to say the same thing right? because it's not true closing sales is the holy holy grail of any business I've always struggled to actually close a sale until I discovered the laws of knowing liking and trusting <clears throat> okay so that's kind of the thing all right and then I'm going to add another one I'm going to copy this again this one here is going to be called this one's the next one the next one is growing fans growing fans so growing fans now nowadays fans are super important with social media I was able to grow a few pages a few Facebook pages to 20k plus 20k plus fans although I eventually eventually lost them okay I'm not so really what you want to do here is you want to have so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create different answers be, depending on their 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 struggle they're having right and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to offer them my free 12 page uh, 12 step guide right so uh, the next one here is after growing fans is building a list building list uh if anyone tells tells me that building a list isn't important I business okay so I'm just saying here if anyone tells me that building a list isn't important I'm not going to say I'm not going to have listen to anything else they have to say lol right so I mean uh and then I'm just going to say list building is a cornerstone of any business any online business it's the it's the it's the traffic you own so I'm just going to save that like that and the last one is something else and I'm going to clone that one as well and this is going to be the something else something else 
and this one here I'm going to uh, oh sorry I I'm, I'm not Um, and saying uh sorry I'm not picking up on what you're asking about um maybe maybe this can still help you and I'm going to just save that okay so that now I basically have five different answers for the same thing I'm just going to connect these five little uh connectors here to each of them and I'm going to go here connect to each of them one after the other get them all connected and then I'm going to add another block and this block is going to be afterwards it's going to be again the same thing doesn't matter which one I'm going to connect them all already because they're going to be whoops wrong like this like this I'm connecting all these blocks that are in the middle here to the the next block now the next block is offer 12 steps 12 step ebook right <clears throat> it's never never easy to build a business online I'm going to add here so I'm basically I'm saying it's never easy to build a business online uh one of the things the things I discovered over time was that it can be simple I even did I even did this I even did a series of short daily videos called the simple online strategies <coughs> click to go check them out okay so over here I'm going to add a link I can actually this is one of the things that you can do in here if you select the text this pops up and I can make this a link so I can make it bold online that that kind of stuff and I can even in, in evaluate html so I could actually put you know font color uh, things like that and it and if I just say evaluate html they're going to replace the html with the, the actual and it's going to make that text show up right there so anyways I'm just going to make um a link here so first I want to go find the link to that I go to my blog up in my blog here I have the cat oh actually on the side here I have the categories um the all these categories right here right <clears throat> so if I want my course income secrets my digital courses my simple online strategies right here so simple online strategy I'm going to take just take this link copy link and I'm going to go back to the bot editing and I'm going to make this a link I'm just going to put that in here and I'm going to do that and now if they um if they want to go check them out they can click that right otherwise and I'm going to say that ended up uh, uh, allowing me to build to create create a simple 12-step step program to learn what what any online marketer needs to know <clears throat> would you would you like here okay let's just actually you know what I'm gonna add a pit an image here or maybe not I'm just gonna uh showing me how to create 12 simple step programs I'm going to say uh I'm going to add the image over here I already uploaded it so it's in going in to be in my gallery here and my 12 step is this e this one here is the ebook actually you know what there's a image link right edit image link I'm going to go this is going to be actually uh it's it's uh online success 12 steps .com. so that's the link to it I'm going to put it in here continue okay so in case they click the image they're going to get to that page which is this page which is a capture page 
and basically ask them for the name and email right so I want to get them on that list right so that's 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 the goal but I don't have to have them go there so that's why I'm not telling them click the image right and I'm just going to say add here I'm going to say would you like your free copy of this ebook uh, and I could go in a little bit more explain it whatever but I'm just going to say that I'm going to say user in input and I'm going to say buttons I'm going to say for sure and then I'm going to add another button nah I'm good okay now uh, let's just say absolutely absolutely no how do you write that absolutely there okay and I'm gonna say continue so now I'm basically asking them do you want the ebook or not maybe they want it maybe they don't I don't know and then we're going to add another and what we can do if you want you, we can have uh a, yeah let's just do this add a block so if they want it we're going to put it here so but yes yes to ebook and then we're going to say fantastic can I get I'll need your name and email to send it to you what is your last name what is your last name and I'm going to say their first name first name question mark and then I'm going to use your response I'm going to put in here their the text and it's going to be their email their their name last name make it capitalize and then there we go and save so I'm going to connect this to here and I'm going to say add a block and this one here is going to be the no and you know I can move this down here so that we can kind of there we go okay so this is going to be no no to ebook Ah, uh, okay no problem no problem not a no problem and then their name <coughs> add something would you like to join our list I I send out daily emails with tips and uh, updates from my new blog posts and <coughs> videos would you like to join our list add if if so I'll need need your email mm -hmm please enter it below all right so I'm going to just uh use a response I'm going to put their email uh, text and this is also email right here and in the case of email I want to do a GDPR settings I want to make sure that they are they agree with the GDPR compliance I'm going to go back to my blog I'm going to go get the GDPR page get the link and then I'm going to paste that in here that's my GDPR page and that's going to show up as a we'll show you what kind of what kind of that what that kind of looks like <coughs> and now we have the no to ebook but possibly uh yes yes to ebook over here the yes to ebook we need to ask them for their email address here new block can be over here okay so now let's just uh, now this is going to be right here ask email ask email for 12 step Uh, 
and their name. All right, so now I'm going to add their email. I'm going to use a response here. I'm going to say email again. Whoops, text. I'm going to say text email address validate GDPR as well here the same thing I don't need to change it and I save it and now I'm going to connect this to here <clears throat> and then let's just say another block I'm just going to finish everything and block and I'm going to say thanks for your time thanks for your time I'm going to add their name again thanks for your time it was a pleasure chatting with you all right now I'm going to add a text here I would say I want to uh maybe user no user response I want to have social sharing uh, actually let's rate this five stars with 0.5 star increments and continue actually there's I thought they were all oh, right no oh social sharing uh, I'd, I'd rather have social sharing here oh no you know what let's do that let's do the star the stars rating and allow them to skip it oh uh, could how would you rate this chat experience all right I'm going to save that and actually let's call this star rating and we're going to add another block we're going to call this block social sharing okay I'm going to use a response to make social sharing share icons and then there we go and I think oh I think there's a that's the thing I think there's a way to make the chat end with the social sharing or so let me just see what happens let's just go over here and I'm going to say end and we're going to say have yourself have yourself a wonderful wonderful day wonderful day with their name right okay and I'm going to use a response I'm going to make this end chat okay goodbye message have yourself the best day ever url time delay share icons okay please share please share there we go that's it I'm just going to do that okay that's the thing there's a redirect I'm not going to put the redirect this is going to be the chat end I'm going to take the social share out of there I'm going to connect the star rating here this guy I'm going to connect to here obviously I want to connect this guy to here whoops this is the end of the chat star rating is right here connect him to there there we go so now we have the whole chat let's just let's just make this a little small so you can kind of see the whole thing whoops that's a little bit that's so that's obviously not a huge chat but it is complete and it goes through and ask them for their email let's just see what that looks like okay so actually before I do that I the next thing is once you've got your 
once you've got your your chat you've got your conversation you got your layout you figured out what is your one thing what is it you're trying to accomplish then you got to go <clears throat> to the next step you click on next wow 45 minutes okay I'm just trying to finish this real quick okay so then in the design you can choose the colors and things like that you can choose the bot design I'm gonna I like to use this this bot design here I can say um <clears throat> I can say how can I help right how can I help and then I'm going to put notification count to two and secondary overlay secondary to after bodice close okay and I'm going to say continue continue okay and then I'm going to add I'm going to put my own image in here it's already in I already uploaded it so I'm going to go to gallery I have this image uh this one here yeah and this one is basically showing a thumb towards the chat right uh I think it's the other way around after load oh wrong one okay I'm going to add this here this is where that goes this one here and this one is not the right one I can choose and this one here is just me bobbing my head a little bit as I listen as you can see I don't know if you can tell let's just zoom in a little bit as you can see this one here so the bot the top one here I'm just nodding my head the other icon there I'm just I'm point, pointing to it right so let's just reset this okay so that's just the basics of the design I like to do then I go next and then settings I want to say uh the bot name is my blog welcome uh custom domain that's extreme features I don't need that right now I don't have a full page one basic features auto close no high check bot I'm not I'm not going to make it based on pages uh delayed bot no auto open one time only no open bot on cursor hover no um sound I want sound I want sound on bot load initial message on all messages uh, and I want to receive instant notifications oh I'm not sure maybe not okay so here's the other thing so integration you want I want to have no to ebook but they're asking I want to subscribe them to my introduction list and if they ask for the ebook I want to subscribe them to my 12 step uh where is it 12 step 12-step online to your online success yeah that's the one so now I'm going to just save that so now everything's all good it's all ready whenever they enter their email they're going to get those things they don't have to go to my other capture page it's just automatically integrated with Aweber and that's it I'm going to launch this and now I'm going to click on next and now I got to put it on my blog site so this this uh on WordPress if I go to my WordPress over here under my uh there's a plugin the Convergio bot plugin that I can specify what bot to use on my blog and I'm just the, the bot id right here right I'm just going to go back and get the bot id down here there's a bot id can you see it yeah so it's right over here copy to clipboard and I'm going to paste that bot in here and I'm just going to save that here all right so that now I have the new bot on my blog I can just reload this page and the bot is going to be oops I got the wrong, I got the wrong image it looks like it didn't take the design image mm, oh yeah look at that that's weird bot design maybe I didn't save it let's just go to my gallery my bot design is going to be this one and then over here is going to be my hand saying hello I'm going to save that launch it and then let's go here reload the page <coughs> there we go now as you can see oh actually you can't see 
let's just go back down here now as you can see I've got my little hand person there pointing to can I help you okay click it it loads up the bot and it starts to have a conversation with them asking them if they're interested in any of my stuff and that's how you set up a blog and how you come up with the conversation like I said it's all about having the right questions so let's just put these in here number one number two actually this is one that here and number three what's your offer you gotta know what is your offer who is it for and then the how long after they visit the bot to wait now you can have the bot so these are the four things you got to know what the goal is you got to know what your audience who your audience is you got to know what your offer is and then you want to know you got to know how you want your bot to interact with people do you, do you want it to show up automatically do you want it to show up on exit those kinds of things all right so I hope you enjoyed this it's been so long I didn't even do the CI central or anything like that but we're still going to do the outro and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.